In the earlier uh, videos, we have seen how to analyze uh, two samples data. For example, we want to compare two different food types, two different medicines, two different um, process. Um, however, um, when, when we have two samples or two populations, uh, we can use two sample t-test but when it's more than two we cannot use t-test anymore then it's something called analysis of variance uh, now there are many different types of analysis of variance on this video we'll only see the basic analysis of variance which is called uh, completely randomized design completely randomized design imagine that we have three different types of gasoline pure gasoline nothing mixed in it and then we have uh, e10 10 percent ethanol and then we have e85 85 percent ethanol and 15 percent gasoline and these are the gas mileage uh, obtained from different cars using say same amount of gasoline for a certain period of time so um, if we want to analyze that in excel we can uh, use the excel function you can uh, if you're in home tab you have to go to in data tab here and then go data analysis and then this box will show up and you can do single factor ANOVA analysis of variance hit OK and then select this so this is the data select that and then if your data um, has label which in this case we have label select that box says labels in the first row and then if the data is in columns which is in this case in column a column b column c represents three different samples now um, then you can just simply hit ok then excel will produce the result in another uh, sheet right here so I can see this is the result p-value uh, we don't use f critical I'm gonna delete that just for the visual so this is the thing we need to know the p-value uh, which is basically zero meaning that there is a significant difference so if you complete the four step process in this case um, step number one which is the uh, hypothesis uh, writing um, null hypothesis in this case would be the mpg mean mpg from pure gas equal to the mean mpg from e10 equal to the mean uh, mpg from e85 null hypothesis is always equal and then the alternative hypothesis um, something went wrong which I don't know but that's okay I centered let's do that okay now it fixed it was centered for some reason and then the alternative hypothesis which is um, they are not equal so either um, pair is not equal uh, step number two um, is um, the way it is actually written let's see if I can write that should be able to write it uh, uh, so the way it is written is basically let me get a different color pen so null hypothesis is written like it's null uh, mu um, pure gasoline is equal to mu 
let me take a thinner pen e10 and then equal to mu um, e85 and then the alternative is g10 something like that so mu pure is not equal to mu e10 and then semicolon and then mu pure so all these possible pair um, is equal to not equal to mu uh, e85 and then one more pair mu 10 is not equal to mu e85 uh, so either of this pair we should say something like or so either this one or this one or this one if the alternative is if we accept the alternative then either situation uh, could happen now step number two write that down step number two is the method in that case we said we run ANOVA but there is no method called ANOVA it's analysis of variance the method name here is uh, completely randomized design we'll explain that later on why it's called completely randomized design there are at least 10 different types of design we're going to learn from this course and one of them is completely randomized design which is the most basic one but we'll explain why this one fall under uh, that category so what we need to do is to find out the p-value as you can see p-value is basically zero 0 0.000170 then 5 so basically 0 so we can write here uh, 0 if you want to see that in instead of engineering notation if you format cell and just do like that then you can see it's basically 0 so p-value is 0 so the step number 3 result we can write uh, we reject the null hypothesis because the p-value is zero um, is smaller than the level of significance. The, the, p, the definition of p-value, if you remember, is the is the chance or probability of happening the null hypothesis so the null hypothesis will never happen it's zero chance so we say we reject the null hypothesis then and then step number four is the contextual conclusion so we basically rewrite the accepted hypothesis so we say we reject the null hypothesis meaning that we accepted the alternative so we say the gas mileage from the three different types of fuel are statistically we cannot say all of them different we have to word this in a way so we don't say all of different all of them if just one of these is um, if this one of this pair is not equal then um, it's the it could happen just one of these is not equal so they don't all of them doesn't have to be not equal so we would say the gas mileage from the uh, would be more technical let's write that way statistically the um, either pair um, is not equal so we'll just stop right here and we'll do one more test later on to determine which one is different from which um, in Excel it's a little bit uh, more time consuming uh, however we can use Minitab to do that I will show that in a different video for now if we um, this should be enough so we just simply say 
they are different and what you you can see what what function to use to get this p value in excel so let's go ahead and